I got laid off. I got fired. I got fired. But here's the thing. I was a binge guy. I remember seeing her at the local titty bar. I feel dirty right now just telling it into a microphone. We're broken around here. Working man is Hey, everybody. Welcome back to the Working Class Halls podcast. I'm your host, Ed McGowan, back from a hiatus here in the break room with my co-host, Josh Accardo. What's up, dude? Yo, we're recording, right? Check. Got it. All right. Check. <laughs> Check. Uh, thank you, Edward. Hello, how are you? It has been a bit of a hiatus. We have a very funny comedian joining us, not only a fellow Paisan, uh, and we're not trying to do that. It just happens, we know. Uh, just for Laughs had him. Now we have him. The very funny Alex Pavone. Alex, what's the worst day job you've ever had? Probably working for my dad and my uncle doing, ex- <laughs> doing excavation. I, I would say that was probably the worst one because of it. It was it was you. I had to w- wake up super early, and I wasn't really good at it. And then were you just, pursuing stand up at the time? Oh, that oh yeah, big time. So you were going out for the, for yeah. the listeners that yes. don't understand like the brutalness of stand up. Yeah. You were going out at night mm-hmm. and before you get to make it, you got to really, and even when you have kind of made it, you still got to be out till like two, three in the morning. Yeah. Like a Wednesday. Yeah. There were a few times, a handful of times I would just go and sleep right on this, like go right from the, the, the bar or the club and just go right to the, the, the site and just sleep in the car for like three hours because it didn't make sense to, to go, go all back. Way home. Yeah. Yeah, 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 yeah. So that was brutal. And and I wasn't really good at it either. And then well, what is excavation? It's just like it's digging so, in a hole. It's digging the hole. It's like the movement of soil and stuff like that. Technically, that's what it's called. It, that's what it is. The movement of soil. But <laughs> that's we were such a uh, high The end. world needs ditch diggers. <laughs> yeah. I love how I wasn't very I, good I at it. I moved like, soil. <laughs> yeah. He's so diplomatic about it. <laughs> yeah. Wasn't the greatest at digging a hole and moving <laughs> the soil. Yeah. <laughs> I, I didn't. Yeah. Alex. Get over here. Help me move this soil. <laughs> you know you know what a packer is, right? No. What's a packer? You've seen Austin Powers when when the guy's like the first one when the guy's like stuck in that wall. Oh, uh-huh. Like a like a roll like a smooth roller. Oh that. Oh yeah. So I mine was a packer. Mine had like little like not little, they were big like um it was just to to get the water up. Like to get the water out of the soil and raise it to the to, so you can oh. continue to dig. So I would do that, which is the easiest thing to do. Is this more of a farming thing or is no. it like a construction? No, thing? no, 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 no. The farm, Ed. You think I work on a farm? <laughs> yeah, I lay. So this is when you were out in Nebraska I'm, on the farm. Yeah, I milked cows. <laughs> I raised chickens and then I packed with my uh, my father, the farmer. No, well, what is wrong with you? I, no. I, I'm a father. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> so you have an uncle and a dad that run this business. Not yeah, they're done now. He, the, my dad's done now. Yeah, but yeah, like yeah. they wanted you. Like you need some cash. You come. Yeah, well, work the, for us, the the money was good, and obviously the money's very good, and that was the easiest job you could do. Was basically just because it's just back and forth, and you just gotta all. It was so boring, and it's it was like so cutting mindless. lawns. Or say, it's almost like cutting lawns. You ever cut well, I, lawns? Like you just mindless. I'd rather cut a lawn. <laughs> oh yeah, you'd you'd have to at least you you would do turns, and you're like oh, yeah, I missed a, a spot. Tree. Yeah, right. Yeah, I didn't have the foresight to to really see what the project was. Right. So my dad and my uncle, they work construction. My dad's an engineer, so he he knows what's going on. I'm just like going back and forth on dirt all day, and it's and that it's really so shows boring. How your family feels about you, too, right? <laughs> truly, they're, they're like, hey, um, truly, and my son, you know, I gotta get him something. And like, well, get him the fucking water excavate shit. What? <laughs> he press the dirt for the water. <laughs> Is he just pressing soil? Pressing to, soil down. Other things too. You know, I I would have to. Well, like, what do, what do they do that for? Because I I feel like I'm not picturing it. To so you, I. Uh, I'm picturing excavation like, okay, we're going to build a road or something, or we got to build something yeah. like a turn. Okay, so we're going to get rid of parking lot. Yeah, so we're going to get rid of the dirt, or yeah. we have to get the dirt out. So we have to flatten it, make it, and to flatten it and make sure it's level. Absolutely. That's something that, that's okay, exactly got it. what it uh, is. Okay, all right. Okay. All right. So Farman. there's no wheat. There's no wheat in <laughs> No, we're not. No, I'm not. Wheat. <laughs> uh, so no corn. Feed. There's no corn. There's nothing like that. So yeah, so I guess essentially, and then they're going to pour the concrete yeah. and do the found, all that it's, stuff. It's all about after. being level. So it doesn't exactly. bubble. Okay, when the final product goes down. Exactly. So I was doing a. I was. I was checking grade and I was shoveling too. That was again. I was useless. This is how useless I was at this job. There was one. We had a. We had a. a we were doing something. I think we were doing a, a soccer field or something. So when it rains, you can't really work, right? Oh right. So the next day, it rains so much that the next day there was this big mud pile, and they said, "Hey, look, like don't." Don't cross through it because it was so big. They like they said go around it because it you know. So I was like, well, whatever. So I cut through it and I got stuck with the machine no, with my legs. <laughs> <laughs> 
I, I just yeah, just like quicksand, yeah. balloons, <laughs> torso, and that's it. Oh, just fully like this is that's a exact, mistake. That's exactly what happened. <laughs> that's exactly what happened. So I had like a little walkie-talkie, and I was like. <laughs> I was working with my dad wasn't there that on 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 site at that time and neither was my uncle but oh, I was working God. with this guy Ange Angelo he was my <laughs> my cousin's my uncle's cousin we weren't related whatever yeah, yeah, yeah. so he was he was on the on the excavator he was awesome on the excavator and I said like hey man like I could see him in the distance I go hey man like I, I, I'm actually stuck <laughs> so I can't I need you to come with a machine and 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 I was like all right all right and then my dad actually came in yeah. and they and they, he was like. He he took the like I see his car come in and he took the walkie talkie from him and I could see there was like a bit of a delay on the walkie talkie so I could see him like his arms move first and then I could hear him and he's like yo no you're gonna stay there you're gonna stay there so like he kept me there for two hours and and then the I I was like oh my god like things are getting done like I'm actually I'm actually like causing issues on this site and then and then he came and like he had to like. You know, I like scoop like he didn't scoop me. He put the bucket down, and I had to like push myself up. And I I came out. I had no boots. I had like my boots were gone. They were in the mud. Like Those it was expensive too. Those oh, the, boots. oh yeah, they were like, like two hundred bucks. Oh yeah, because they're, they're gonna be like steel, steel toe. toe. Yeah, yeah, exactly, yeah, yeah, exactly. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So I was you know I was, uh, a, I was a disaster. So stuff like that. It wasn't good. That's a bad job. That's so a bad the guy. The disappointment in a, in a father's face is my f- favorite favorite thing in the whole oh world. my god plus in I also all his work friends plus, like, that's I'm, where Heath thrives how, how yeah. long how long do they stand around planning on how to get you out too <laughs> like were they I like throwing ideas I'm sure they already knew how to do it I mean they those knew, dudes they knew always they know every it, trick to, to get the machine what they were had to do they had to finish they, they couldn't like come waste 30 minutes go back <laughs> so it's a two-prong effect they didn't lose any time in the job and you lo- you learned a lesson and you felt dumb for like two and a half hours i felt dumb for a long time i was in there <laughs> i was actually years. in there for like two yeah no, no i was there for two like about an hour and a half two hours and i was just like i was slowly sinking and i was like they gotta hurry up i don't think i'm gonna make it but that was yeah dude that was such a they should have made you eat your fucking lunch there. <laughs> Do we also? Just, oh, bro! If I had my lunch, I, they would have. They just come and they just drop a sandwich off. It was like a little fishing line. Like I was. A, you hungry? We did slight Alex, demo too. We did slight demo too, which is you know what that is. Demolition. Yes. Yeah. Okay. Yeah, yeah, yeah. But like not slight. Sorry. Like small residential demolition. So nothing crazy. So we, I would be the guy who would go into the, you know, the foundation the, and, and sort of, you had to separate stuff. You had to separate wood for garbage purposes. Right. They wouldn't just take everything, yeah. right? Right, right, right? So I'd have to separate stuff. And that was, the, that was a bitch job because yeah. you'd have to go in because some of the, the machine couldn't grab stuff. Yeah, the, bot, the, like exactly. the tail end of demolition is a pain in the ass. Yeah, oh, and I hear a lot of sweeping and the, nail pickup and all yeah, that. Shit, and yeah. like uh, insulation. Like oh, it's, yeah, it's yeah, like yeah, asbestos yeah, yeah, yeah. maybe. And yeah. Like, maybe not. So Ange Jr., the, uh, my uncle's cousin again, he would be on the bucket <laughs> and then I'd go down and I'd pick stuff up, put it in the bucket for him, whatever. I just imagine Ange at Sunday dinner with the f- extended family that knows of you and they're like, <laughs> you gotta, what's your dad's name? You gotta see, <laughs> you gotta see his fucking son. I mean, <laughs> you've never seen a bigger dip. She got stuck in a mud Monday. <laughs> for sure. For sure. Oh, dude. He got stuck in the mud. Did that, I say it? I bet that comes up every holiday, every like uh, dinner. Hey, careful. Hey, it's a little wet outside. <laughs> Alex, be careful out there. Make sure you bring your boots. No, my dad doesn't like to talk about it. He's uh, like, not this, not this story. My <laughs> son's a moron. Not this story. But he, but but there's like copper's copper's obviously something that oh yeah you know when you they demol- sell they resell that oh, shit. exactly yeah, yeah. like copper wire copper pipes right mm-hmm. oh, yeah. so when you demo a house and it's you see it you you could bring it to like a like a shop after mm-hmm. and just oh, yeah. and get money for it so like he he hit the the top of the house one time and he was like hey there's copper up there go up there and and grab the copper just it's loose so you could grab it I'm like how am I gonna grab this copper like. Uh, it's it's easier now if you grab it than if we smash it. You got to go and sort it out after, right? right? I'm like, well, uh, what are you? Are you a climb? Are you climbing? Uh, this is my question. Okay. To Ange. All right. You know, Ange <laughs> Junior was his name because my uncle's name is Ange. They have the exact same name, by the way. And I shouldn't say their names, but they have the exact same name, right? So they called this guy Junior. So I'm like, oh, what do you want me to do? And he's like, go in. I'll put you in the bucket in the excavator. It's a big thing, yeah. right? And I'll bring you up there, and then you could just rip it, rip it, and grab everything, and then bring was it. Yeah, you're not saying was a it wiring? Or? He's saying he's put in the fucking bucket, yeah, not a crow's excavator, nest. and he scoops me up, which is <laughs> <laughs> he's waiting on it. <laughs> Get it 
in my ass, H. Which, yeah, he put it. He puts it down. I climb in, and then lifts me up. And this is not <laughs> dangling. Yeah, and, and this is not. You're not allowed to do this. No, it's. You're not. This isn't like a sanctioned. This the is a city job. They have nine guys. One I've, of them will be in the crow's nest. The rest will be watching him. Correct. Making over over correct. time plus but time and a half. This is a one. This is a a demo job in a residential area. There's no one on site. Yeah. Right. So I scooping me up and it just stops. <laughs> and I guess someone who was there, the safety guy came at that time. So he just he goes, Hey, the safety guy's here, just like hang tight or whatever. And I'm like, hang tight. <laughs> Did you have to like curl up? I was in yeah, you have to curl. You're in a bucket. So I'm just like there in this bucket. I'm like I'm like, I don't know how high I am. I can't poke my head up. And this guy who didn't really talk. Yeah, is having a full. He's uh -huh. like, hey, we got uh -huh. beers. We got today's the day. I'm, I'm up there for like ten minutes. I was like, <laughs> he's gonna got like beers start throwing rocks. He's <laughs> asking all these questions. <laughs> what are we gonna get dinner? I'm like, who is this guy? <laughs> So I was a bitch. Are you scared essentially. Now too that what if they forget I'm in here and then they start using it to excavate and they're thro they throw me out of this bucket? Thank God that never crossed my mind because I would have. Yeah, because that that's all I would think that of. Went, I would have went paranoid. Because on a yeah. job, especially you know, is this after the mud incident? Because if it is, you could be up there two hours. I can't recall when that was. Because <laughs> that's, that's, that's what I would be thinking. I'm right? like, are they going to leave me in here as long as I was in that mud? Yeah, yeah. <laughs> that's all I could think about. When he was saying that, I'm like, these motherfuckers, dude, they're going to forget. Wait, did my dad just pull up? Especially if they said a beer. Like, I've been on construction <laughs> sites with family members. Once some guy has a, a beer, oh, forget it, dude. Yeah, yeah. I didn't even it. think about that. I truly didn't think about that. I was like, no, he's just, having a, he's just shooting the shit with this guy. But uh, now... Now I'm now you now I'm actually bucket. like <laughs> dodge the bullet, but yeah, I was just like sitting up there. I'm hearing this whole conversation. And I'm like, shut up, dude! My back's in shambles. I'm gonna throw a rock at this guy. I'm going to get copper for him. This is like the dumbest Mission Impossible. It's right? ridiculous. It's like Tom Cruise stuck in a stuck in an excavator. He did the stunts himself, alone. Yeah, exactly. <laughs> like a like a young Just Jackie Chan. <laughs> Yeah, no, it's, it was, it was, that was probably, uh, you know, the I was just so useless. I was just so useless and I had to be there because it was my family and right. everybody knew that I was useless. Did you like working construction though in general? I hated it. You just did it because they, you needed the money. Well, and, I needed the money and, and they, I needed to do something. Yeah. My dad wouldn't, my dad would have killed me yeah. if he was like, what are you going to do? You're doing this. Mm -hmm. And he was hoping probably that I'd like it, but I'm, you know, it's just not my thing. Yeah. What was it like age range? You were like 18, 25? Yeah, I started probably right after high school, and I, it was only a summer thing. You can only do excavation. Well, you could do, other, like, you could plan it for, but the ground weather, can't be frozen, yeah. right? Oh, right, right. But so my weather thing would have to be thing. for, like, summer. They wouldn't gotcha. need me in the winter. Mm -hmm. so Other people could go work year round, but those guys are way more important. So you would come back, like, uh, you know, two, three summers. You'd be, you'd do oh, a couple more of than summers. that. Yeah, right. Probably like, to like oh, 20s. Look at, hey, yeah. That's kind of cool, though. Eight summers, maybe? You show up, like, at the, you know, May, and they're like, you hear all the same jokes like, you heard oh, last man, May when yeah. you showed up. Yeah. They are honestly the f construction workers are the funniest great. people ever. They're unknowingly so much funnier, funny. unknowingly funny. Yeah, they're funnier than so many comedians, myself included. They would get canceled th in the third minute of their first ever set. <laughs> oh yeah, every com every construction worker, but they're hilarious. Yeah. yeah, just like they just make sound effects. They're like, Meow. you know, they're like, <laughs> they're like grown men. It's like it's an easy audience, <laughs> and everyone's like on the same wavelength. Yeah. Even if you weren't there, the minute you start working construction. Some of that shit just starts to become super funny to you. Yeah. I don't know if it's because you're doing the job together and you're like, man, this really relieves the stress. It, I don't yeah. know, man. But it's it, like early it's in the morning. Kind of yeah, the sun's on you. You're like, I have no idea why I'm laughing, but yeah. this is so stupid. The yeah. other thing is watching like a, you know, I don't know, like a 250 pound grown man laugh at like a sound effect yeah. is <laughs> also hilarious. Like, so no, it's like it you're is. laughing at that and then you're laughing at this guy laughing at it. It's so. It's also, yeah, you're right. The guy's delivering it. Always. Oh my God. Yeah. No, it's hilarious for sure. So I had this guy. We, there was these guys that were doing work in my neighborhood. My dog was when he was a puppy used to walk around with a big stick, and uh, these construction guys would be like, hey, "Look at this little guy! And it's just hilarious to watch them just like giggle. So excited over oh the my dog god, stick. so much fun! <laughs> yeah, so much fun. They're ridiculous, but but yeah, it was. Uh, I was not good at it. I'm sure other people were, you know, like it and like doing that job. Well, you said it, you know. Sun, so vitamin D. Yeah, for you're sure. You're working with your hands. You can see 
your, money money and also like you'd get to see what your work created exactly i mean maybe at the job you were doing but overall yeah. those guys are like you know i know guys in my family that work construction like hey uh, like I, my grandfather uh laid concrete and every time we go by these baseball fields my dad would go you know grandfather uh poured concrete over there yeah he was yeah. really proud yeah, every, i mean cool. every time we drove by i mean a yeah. hundred times he must have told me like you know your grandfather <laughs> yeah dude i know skilled guys too like, oh you, yeah, if yeah you're on the dozer like the bulldozer but learned on the cut. job became yeah. masters on the job yeah. it wasn't like a yeah, oh, yeah. thing. yeah you, you got to like cut the cut the soil a certain inch and it, it's got to be very you know very accurate right yeah. and you know, it's very t- it's a tough job. Man. It's kind of cool to watch uh, guys like that use like it's kind of high end math sometimes, like grade, like when you're talking about it a is. grade and stuff like yeah, that. It's it like, is. It's like fucking high end geometry, mm-hmm. all that kind of stuff, and you're like, look at this guy. He he just knows how to do it. Yeah, no, yeah, he it's just, so it's cool. just years of practice and stuff like that, yeah. like anything. But yeah, that- I worked in a factory where it was. Uh, you worked in a factory. I worked in a factory. So was- you've been a janitor on a num- a number of places. You've worked every kind of job that's like from the Great Depression. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Factory, I worked in a factory. You brought your lunch boy in. back a kitchen. Yeah, 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 back a kitchen. But the guys that, so I wanted to be, I was, it was when I was like living in this like crazy drug house and everybody was working at this factory and they're like, oh, we'll get you a job because I got fired from my restaurant job. And they're like, get you a job, metal, uh, finishing metal, polishing uh, these metal doors. It's played, a place made, uh, what are they called? Uh, X-ray machines. Okay. That was their big contract. Okay. So you would just make, you know, and polish these doors. And I go in and I had been an engineering student. You know, I failed out of college as an engineering student. Like, what do you want to be a metal finisher for? You're a smart kid. You you should be the quality control. And I was like, oh, okay, whatever. I don't care. <laughs> and now I got these old men like coming up to me and I'm supposed to be like checking their work. And the guy's like, <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> These old guys are like, eh, what, are you, what are you doing? <laughs> it's fine. Well, come on. Oh, 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 hey, look at this kid. He's like calling everybody. Hey, look at this guy. He's checking my work. <laughs> I just see like a young ad, like. You know, like I see pictures of you and you're young. You have that, that like uh, you have no beard, so you're just kind of like boyish. Yeah, oh, yeah, yeah, boyish. yeah, yeah. Oh, yeah. Kind of like smirky and high. Like, <laughs> yeah. All right, all right, whatever. Uh, I, and then, so then I would just do like he goes, you check three. Here's, here's how you do it. Come on. I'll show you how the last guy did it. You check three. You sign here. You sign here. <laughs> yeah. Show you how the last you guy did it. Line. You don't pay attention. You just sign in. You fuck off. That's how the last guy did it for sure. Because the job's a lot easier to be quality control. Oh my god. Except. The problem is, is when something's fucked up, it's uh, yeah, on you. Yeah, but then it's like it goes to my boss. Yeah, you know it's like I mean? a million just, fall was, guys before you. I was the kid who was, you know, you know what I mean, a drug addict who was going to be the metal finisher. I've never done any of those kind of jobs before. Really? I'm not cut out for that kind of shit. I'm Restaurants? an office guy. Office? I'm all office. Really? Office, yeah. yeah. I mean, I've done- I've never worked in an office in my used life. Used car sales I've done, and I've done jobs like held a sign on the street corner, like one okay. of those- like you have to dance with the sign. Did you dance with the sign? No, but I he, I used to. Not a, a car dude, wash. Like no, no, it was for a memorabilia shop. Oh, okay, okay, to okay. Generate business. Okay, okay, and okay. And they had like it was such a busy street. There was like a almost like a unspoken group of sign holder guys. All of them schizophrenic <laughs> or oh, yeah. severe drug addicts, right? And they befriended me after the first like month. And the one guy was, I think it was his career. I mean, he really. I mean, he didn't lay him a chair. Like he was respected <laughs> amongst the group. They gave him a chair, chair. and he uh, he had a he looked like you remember Braveheart, the big dude. Yes, uh, yes, yeah, yes, yeah, yes, yeah, yes, yes, yes. I should have remembered the rocks. Yeah, remember that yeah, guy. Yeah, yeah, yeah. He looked just like that guy. He was massive. Like, he probably could have crushed my skull in his hand. And he would always come over and like pay his respects to me. And the other guys during the break would be like, "That's pretty cool." Like, I don't remember his name. Bob came over and say hi. Like. Hey, he really was the guy. It was like What's Chappelle sign? the seller shaking your hand. <laughs> yeah, 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 right. Yeah, <laughs> like walking over to you at your table and shaking your hand. That's what it was like. That what? guy came over. What did Bob? What sign did he hold? He was the main corner, but I, it was the same store. The memorabilia. No, no, no. It was um uh. So there was like two strip, four strip, diff, different strip malls in each corner. Yeah, with okay, the okay, entrances, okay. right? So I was in a middle area of one entrance, and he was on the corner. And at first, he was not happy. Yeah, right. That I was there. Who's this new kid on the corner over and here? Kinda, I don't know. Yeah. And I, I remember I was dating a girl at the time who uh, we tried to make it work. She lived in Miami or Fort Lauderdale, and she decided to move to San Diego. And I kind of railroaded my roommates and let her stay in my room with me for like four months, and it was not great. But uh, she would just come and sit at 
to watch me hold the sign. What the what? hell? And she was Cuban Italian. She was a smoke show, and she would. It was hot during the summer. It was San Diego, so she would wear. You know, Cuba. I didn't know this about Cuban women until I dated her. I didn't know this about Florida because it's not like the internet was really around at all. So it wasn't like you could see how women dressed in Miami. It's like a thing to not wear much of anything. Yeah. Oh, so yeah, she yeah. was out there, and I think that's why I got in pretty quickly because she would wear like. <laughs> Damn oh, right, sure. like, yeah. yeah like, tops, yeah, no like bra. Coming over, he's like, thanks for bringing your girl. Yeah. <laughs> They're like, Josh hold, is like, on, hold on, hold on. respect. <laughs> exactly. Like, now Hill. we They're carrying my mother's groceries home. <laughs> now we know <laughs> why. <laughs> 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 hey, you're bringing your lady in today, Josh. <laughs> now we know why mom is jaywalking across this intersection to kiss your hand. He wanted to see your girlfriend's tits for Christ's sakes. People would honk like every. Like, it was such a busy street. Yeah, and I remember I was such an insecure like. Like uh, nut job, <laughs> I, be fu- I hope he fucking gets out. Like screaming at a guy who's honking at my girlfriend. Like just, I'm holding a sign. Like Bob's this rock ten hard. Is sitting, this ten is sitting in a lawn chair. Yeah. I'm holding a sign trying to fight a guy in this car at a stoplight. Just the insanity that's going Bob's on in my rock life. hard <laughs> yeah. sign ho- right right in front of his car. Bob's playing pocket Bob's, pool yeah, while yeah. spinning the <laughs> sign like. <laughs> Uh, they're all like trying to impress her. They're all trying to impress her too. Like, oh yeah, yeah. There's right, a lot right, of extra right, tricks. You know, <laughs> not sure why. For 30 years, I couldn't imagine why Bob was just. He loved me so much. I mean, they should have oh. hired her. Yeah, I mean, they should have hired her. Yeah, yeah. you cracked pro- that case very quickly. By the way, like, oh, yeah, there it is. I totally forgot about that too. (laughs) I totally forgot she sat out there with me. And that's like uh, an embarrassment of riches. You know, like it's like one of those things where you're like, wow, I I got, you know, I I had a hot chick just sitting in a lawn chair. And obviously I don't have any money. Yeah. (laughs) Only a sign for $10 an hour (laughs) under the table because I am still collecting unemployment. (laughs) Well, yeah, right. So you're like the hot, I mean, I, I, like, how embarrassed, did you do this? Embarrassment <laughs> of riches, but still, I mean, I need to know this woman's story. That's bro. a sh- that's a like a boast. That's like a brag. She, go, she yeah. passed the bar. She's a lawyer. A lawyer who went across the country yeah. to hang out with an unemployed sign holder. Yeah. That's wow. unbelievable. I was a comedian, though. Come on. Okay. Oh, okay. 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 You were also I had, doing comedy. Okay. I had regular spots at the comedy store. What are you talking about? Uh, all right. All right. All right. All right. All right. Yeah, yeah, we yeah, didn't know yeah, that. Yeah. Okay. We didn't know you okay. were a I didn't comedian know you were a comedy sign holder. Jesus Christ. She did not even know I was a comedian until she already moved in. <laughs> She's like pissed. Unbelievable. She's like, I moved in with a sign holder. I don't worry about this comedy you had all night. I want you. I want to know where you are during the day. Oh, she Hey, how'd you, did you know her? That's how she was. I she, bet. She knew how to use... She was super smart, like way smarter than me. And I didn't realize how smart she was until it was like way too late. Like she used to hustle me and my friends in pool. Oh. Because she would wear... Yeah. Her tits would f- almost fall out. Oh, that's so exciting. And she was good. I just got so left, excited. Left and nipple corner pocket. Good <laughs> pool. She, she, well, yeah. she ran this table of dudes once. I mean... She came out like 50, 60 bucks on top, and we just went to Denny's with it. It was awesome. <laughs> yeah. It was like white trash awesome. Oh, yeah. Grand Slam. Oh, my uh, God. Yeah, so, yeah, 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 Grand Slam. Yeah. Oh, man. <laughs> You're all looking at each other like we made money today. <laughs> yeah. 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 Yeah, right? Way to go, hon. Hey, with, we- with the 40 I made <laughs> holding signs and your 60 at the pool hall, <laughs> That's- we're living like kings around here <laughs> today. <laughs> That's a pretty. That's a pretty labor. I guess not labor intensive, but I would say it's leaning more towards being working out in at a sun kitchen and construction sucks. than an. Oh, it's the worst. I oh, hate the being sign. outside. Oh, being I outside. I hate yeah, it yeah. For, for too that, long. Yeah, especially when you're holding a sign. Oh, it's brutal. god awful. Well, the other thing is you have no. You don't really have shade, right? Would you have no. an umbrella? Or I mean, anything there was like a tree. That? You the have tree, a you sign. You need to be <laughs> that was it. front. Just, oh yeah, I know. You're just taking a break. Blocking the sun. Wow, that guy loves to work. Well, and the guy who hired me, he would sometimes come out and tell me. Like I wasn't standing close enough to like where the <laughs> I wanted to kill this guy. Yeah, yeah I was so yeah. happy to have the job. But, like that's one of the lowest. That and doing laundry a, like in a place that isn't New York City are two of the loneliest things I've ever done. Is hold the sign oh, yeah. while the guy is like telling me I'm not properly standing in the right place. <laughs> like, no, it's this, and he like this this concrete slab here. That's that gets the most. That's the money making side. Yeah. Yeah, 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 for yeah. sure. You wanna you wanna angle. 
You see your shoulders? Your yeah, shoulders yeah, are pointing I this mean, way. Really? You get like with your hips. Come on, with your back. I have get your back leg over here. Than you have in your whole body, dude. Don't worry about me. Some people are power tripping. There is no yeah. science behind yeah. it. He Whoever just needed you can to punch tell down you. On, there's a lot of people that'll do it for right? sure. Yeah, yeah, yeah. For sure. And the laundry thing is just depressing. Have you ever oh, yeah. done laundry in no. like uh, a city that everyone has one in their like an building? In- everyone's like like a real city. Or no. No. It is very depressing. Yeah, I bet. I guess. Yeah, I mean, the laundry is depressing, but yeah, you always have people to look at. So what you're saying is you have nobody really to look at. No, what like I'm alone. saying, like, it's depressing <clears throat> because you are you're around other people that are really down. On they're their like, luck. they're like very. If they're going to a laundromat in a it, place where everyone the has lowest, laundry, they're like poor. Yeah, yeah, yeah. It's they're bad like, news. Yeah, it's, sure, sure, sure. It's like riding probably steerage on the Titanic or. On the ferry coming over from wherever town you're from, whatever boat. Yeah, you're yeah, like, yeah, yeah, yeah. I mean, taking a bus in the suburbs is pretty bad. Taking a oh, bus. The chi- in the suburbs. I've done the China bus, the Chinatown bus. No, like too. when you live in the suburbs yeah. and you oh, have to take yeah, a yeah, bus yeah, yeah, to work yeah, 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 is yes. kind of that's a that's to a work? tough one. Yeah, yeah. yeah, yeah Everyone yeah. has a car and yeah, everybody yeah, yeah. Yeah. Oh, yeah. laundry yeah, and yeah. stuff yeah. like that. Yeah, yeah, that's the, real working class. I used to. I just remember this. I used to work at a bar and on on a Tuesday, only on a Tuesday, and I was the back security guard i'm not a big kid i don't know what this camera captures but i'm <laughs> five six 150 and my buddy was like an actual bouncer and he was like do you want to work at this at this bar tuesday's half off pool it's pretty chill all you got to do is work at the back make sure no one leaves with with a beer essentially you don't have to card anybody you're it's- basically there solo for the vice to make sure the vice doesn't catch a open beer container outside. It's a, uh, absolutely. Basically, your security for beer. No joke. The liquor, for- li- liquor license security is what they call Buddy, it. Buddy, fourth Tuesday there, full on melee, full on oh, brawl. God. Fourth, the fourth but, but, day there. Fourth, fourth. Sh- I only worked there for like a month, but it was a full tilt brawl, <laughs> a full tilt brawl, and I just went to the back and I just hid in the kitchen. Like I didn't even try to break <laughs> anything <on> up. <laughs> They told me it was chill, and I'm seeing, like, guys punch. I'm like, no. And there was, like, wings, like, out there. And, and I was like, I think this is the guy fighting. And who knows? I had a wing. I left. I, they never contacted me again. My buddy, we didn't even talk about it after. He was like, well, he's like, that fight, you just, like, left? I was like, absolutely, I left. I almost should have just went home. But I was like, I just went to peek in, and I was like, oh, my God, these guys are f- going at it. Yeah. It's like 2008, right? 2009, yeah. something like that. And I just hid in, in, in the back and that was that for me. And he expected you to come in and help. That's why he was like, uh, the, 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 the brawl? The your friend, oh, your my, friend? No, no, no. Oh, my, fr- he knew, like, my friend told me. He's like, nothing ever happens. And he's like, shit, on a Tuesday? Yeah, that's he's wild. Like, oh, yeah. your friend wasn't there. No, 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 no. no. He wasn't there. He but worked you just ghosted, Friday, Saturday. And you just ghosted the job. A hundred percent. How many yeah, jobs yeah, yeah. have you ghosted? Uh, do you think? Two. Two. I, I, I know I've I have one. Well, I mean, then your drug days, right? Just never go back. Well, yeah, that's what I mean. Yeah, 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 like yeah. The drug days, days like, as in, like, as, as a drug dealer. As a drug addict. Oh, okay. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. I mean, I have to practice it that way because I think that makes it a little easier yeah, you just, to walk away. Just walk See, away. I was yeah. sober doing it. Yeah, so yeah. that's a different feeling where you're just like. I don't think I've ever It's a whole other level, I think, of sober. being. <laughs> Uh, shitty. Like to yeah, be able yeah, yeah. to like. Yeah. yeah, for sure. I just don't want to face this, so I'm not gonna go. Yeah, no, no, no. For sure, it's definitely it's. You have guilt about it. It's you a know, business. You know, it's, it's a, a job. Self, it's a self thing too. You're like, man, I couldn't cut it at Blockbuster. It was. I just remember like I was having. It's before I knew I was like a depressed person, and I go, man, I wonder why I can't really get out of bed or want to do anything. And then it was a Friday night, and if Fridays were the fucking worst at blockbuster and i have this <laughs> dude i have such like my dyslexia when i'm under pressure gets worse oh yeah and you worked it, at blockbuster with this dyslexia yeah it was really oh, difficult shit. because you know the not only the counting of money fucks me up but now you're calculating when a when a thing has to be back like it wasn't automated oh so you you had to kind of calculate yeah. it in your head when a you had to return oh and, and you it, have to read all the movies you read and the, stuff. I mean, it's yeah, everything. That's and tough. Yeah, yeah, yeah. The lines to check out movies, because it was always the night shift oh, I had God. on a fucking Friday night, oh. was, it was like, it was the worst thing ever. It was, my anxiety was, so I just no-showed them. And they, one of the women there called and cussed me out on my answer machine at my, at my dad's house. That's where I was living. He was like, who's this up? The fucking broad screaming at you. <laughs> <laughs> like, 
That's my manager at the Blockbuster. <laughs> <laughs> no show them on a Friday. <laughs> and then I had the audacity to like sit on it for two weeks and then go there to collect my last pay- yeah. check. And they made it so uncomfortable. Uh, it's funny that I, I had that kind of nerve to do that and quit the job. It's like, I, how are you not successful with that kind of nerve? Oh, right. Yeah, and it's, yeah, like, yeah. It's, like, it, I, it's only applicable to places that make me look bad. Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> yeah right. Absolutely. Career. Yeah, yeah. Like, oh, that was a savvy yeah, career yeah, move, yeah, Josh. Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> Way to go with that no, nerve. No, for sure. Like, no, dude. <laughs> I've ruined every opportunity I've ever had. I'm done. <laughs> I got fired, I think, from my first job at, um, I worked at a bakery. That was my first job, and a couple of my friends worked there, and we would have to, you know, check the schedule for the next, you know, the next time you're working. Yeah, right. And I guess I, I I don't know what happened. I Maybe I got confused. I missed my shift or whatever, and then I I called my buddy, and I was like, hey, let me know when I'm on the schedule, because he was going into work, and then he called me, and he's like, you're not on the schedule. And it was my first job, so I was like, oh, these fucking guys don't, they forgot. Yeah. I was fired. And then, like, obviously, right? Yeah, and yeah, I yeah. called the owner. I was like 15. But they didn't tell you you were fired. No, they didn't. T- well, when I called. Yeah, sure. And I was like, hey, um, sorry, I'm, I'm like, I'm, I want to see when I'm on the schedule. And he's like, who are you? Like, he didn't even know. It was like a bake. It was like a, a, a pretty big bakery. Yeah. And I was like, I'm, I'm Alex. I work at the back. And he's like, oh, you, you don't work here anymore. <laughs> and, and I was like, you okay. You used to work. Yeah, and he just hung up, and I was like, okay. Damn. Yeah, 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 yeah. Yeah, yeah that's yeah. crazy. Yeah, well, I got fired. I had that happen to me before. For sure. I told on the show before. Victoria's Secret did that to me. Oh, yeah, Who? yeah, yeah. Victoria's, Victoria's Secret. Secret. <laughs> <laughs> so you that. did work. Like, I did. That's okay. the other one. Okay, okay. Buddy, you, you came here. I have a here. few. I thought you were no, like No, but I've accountant. been in the workforce in offices now. For twenty plus years. Okay. Okay. So, so those jobs are very short lived. My 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 fiance worked for Victoria's Secret. She yeah. she's I don't know to what capacity, but she worked there. And what did so you do? So many beautiful. Uh, okay. So in the the days of the mall, I'm forty two. So we're talking like two thousand two thousand one. Okay. Uh, malls are popping off more than ever. Yeah. And I was going to the mall. I didn't drink or anything, and I wasn't twenty one yet. So I would just go to the mall hoping to run into a girl exactly the malls were the place to be and i yeah. told my best friend i'm like listen i'm gonna get a fucking job at either victoria's secret phoebe's whatever where all these broads are i'm going to get a job there <laughs> I, I can't believe men work at victoria's secret well so this is what so i <laughs> walk the in there fuck? my butt you know when you're like 18 19 anytime you even are ballsy enough to walk up to a woman you're nerdy like i'm a, i'm a dork my nerdy friends were like Wow. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. Talk to this girl. So I walked right in there, got the application, gave it to him, got a call. Uh, first, BB's called me and said, like, hey, do you want to come work here? And I just flat out said I didn't want to work on weekends. <laughs> and they never called me back. <laughs> but for whatever reason, Victoria's Secret called. <laughs> just the balls of an 18 year old. I got a few demands. Uh, okay, yeah, I'm glad yeah. we're talking. I don't uh, get up to about uh, 10, 30, 11 a.m. and uh, about vacation. Friday, days. Saturday. <laughs> Don't even think about Friday, Saturday. <laughs> PTO yeah, yeah. pension package What's for a part time employee. What's a 401k like? They're just looking at you? <laughs> like, are you company car? Psychotic? <laughs> company car. So, do you got a driver picking me up at my house? Or how do I recoup? How do I get grass? here? Uh, what about mileage? So, then Victoria's Secret gives me the gig <laughs> as a, uh, a stock guy. So, that's the only place where the. the men okay, are okay. That makes sense. Work. That, it makes sense. Uh, but it, what happened? Right away, you're like, this is great. Because no, they didn't hire any. You had to look like you could wear the product. Because they, they're not going to let you work there as a female if they if you oh. can't wear any yeah, of the stuff. Yeah, the women that work at Victoria's Secret are smoking Because out. you can't. Yeah. yeah because the, <laughs> and they even. To confirm. Well, yeah, they no, even yeah. size their Bad. bras differently. Yes. So, in a reg, like back then, especially in a standard like JCPenney, whatever bra, a D would be a certain. Cup size, right? But with Victoria's Secret, right. if you wore a D in another bra, you would wear a double D in okay, Victoria's okay. Secret right. because it was built like they wanted to make you think you were so fashionable they, and your curves were accentuated and all right. that. And give you a little you bit like, of it. Give it's like telling a an guy boost who has a six there. inch dick that you got an eight inch dick. Yeah, 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 yeah you're yeah. right. I do yeah. got an eight inch yeah, dick. Yeah, a B cup is a C cup is a huge. That's a big jump. Yeah, yes, 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 yes. So, uh, I learned stuff like that there, but also what ended up happening is they moved me from, they're like, we'll pay you more money if you move from the stock guy for the lingerie to the perfume. 
like they have a whole because remember oh, they used yeah, to have yeah, a yeah, dual yeah. store. Uh, okay. One part of the store would it's... be all their perfume and lotions and shit. Uh, remember, okay. women would. Oh yeah. That smell would make my my penis erect. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Because it yeah, smelled yeah. like every titty bar from yeah, 2000 yeah, yeah. to 2010. Yeah. Because yeah. they're all wearing that that lotion. <laughs> And the perfume to match it. Yeah. So I was like, so it's he- so it's heavier. The perfume's heavier. That's oh why yeah, because it's boxes and yeah, boxes yeah, 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 of yeah, liquid. Sure, I'm, sure, I'm picking sure. up for sure. So <laughs> and if you smell the perfume, it's not frowned upon. But if you smell the underwear, you're yeah, well, getting the underwear the boot. got me in some trouble. Yeah, 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 yeah. <laughs> for sure. But the part that got because I ended up dating a girl that worked there, so I my I did manifest it. But the part that I didn't realize is like you're around all these women, and the it was like the first week. I don't know if they plan it this way. The first week. They brought in like all these new girls. So it's like we're all new, which is the, you know, working in a restaurant. When yeah. everyone's new, it's like the best. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. Because yeah, yeah, everyone's yeah. like on equal yeah, footing. Yeah, yeah, yeah. No and, one knows anything. And you're trying to find like a buddy, yeah, all that yeah, stuff. Yeah, 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 yeah. And the dude I was working with was like this white wannabe Jamaican. He had f- the longest dreads. Oh, yeah, he was yeah. vegan. He always smelled like <laughs> soy, like Do sour you talk with milk. The too? Well, no, just more like he was like a hacky sack. San Diego dude, man. He oh, wore the, okay, okay. the fucking hat, you know, the, oh, the yeah, Rastafarian yeah, 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 hat. Yeah, yeah, yeah. He's steaming underwear. like, And he had a girlfriend, so he never was hitting on the girls. He was pretty like, what do they call it? Like soy boy kind uh, of shit. Yeah, 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 yeah. Now it's like the new Republican term for guys that aren't yeah, yeah, yeah. men, whatever. Yeah, yeah, but he yeah. was like a really chill, peaceful kind of guy. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And he wasn't out there like swinging his dick yeah, around. Yeah. So it was just me, this like 20 year old kid. And he was probably 25, but he lived with his girl already. Like, he was good yeah, to yeah, go. Yeah, yeah. Right. So I kind of had my, wow. I could go out there. There was no other male competition. Plus, you're younger, too. And kind of the girls, like, because I experienced that as a busboy. Like, the, the older waitresses, like, when I was, like, 18, 19 yeah. as a busboy, like, the 23-year-old waitress was like, oh, hey. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. <laughs> Yeah, you get all that. You're a little slave. Yeah. You know? You're yeah, like, look at this little, yeah, yeah, little exactly. eager petting your head. <laughs> yeah, 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 yeah. Totally, totally. <laughs> so, uh, <laughs> but by like the first week, I remember all the girls were super nice because they didn't want you to see they were a bitch yet. Uh, like everyone, you know, everyone at any job, male or female, the beginning you're of anything, hiding your yeah, correct. awfulness. Absolutely. Correct. And yeah. then I remember I, the first weekend I worked. Uh, in San Diego, I worked in a, the place that I worked was in La Jolla, which is a really very well yeah yeah, 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 yeah. a lot of like yeah. trophy wise yeah yeah yeah, yeah. Time. so i walk out of the back room and it faced the bigger um dressing room and there's this dude and i heard him before i walked out i heard like german or some kind of like language it was a like, european and he has the door of this he's leaning against the door of the dressing room and he's looking like like this like contemplatively and I look to what he's looking at, and only I could see it. His wife is topless and wearing, these women are trying on, and not over her underwear. Like you're, The rules were, you try on the underwear over your underwear. Yes. Yeah, yeah, yeah. She was not doing that. <laughs> and I'm the only one who can see her, because when you're walking out the angle, it's like, so he looks at me, and he just lets me look. Like he's giving me the... Wow. That like hat that the nod the husband nod of like go ahead take a look, and I thought this is the greatest job I've ever had. <laughs> <laughs> I, mean, I was flying high that day. I thought this is the fucking dream of dreams, dude. <laughs> I need to get I need to go get on to the, the board here. Go to the boss. He's like, I want to sign up for some extra shifts. Sprays her with some perfume. <laughs> Try this. See if it pairs well with the underwear in your pits. And Unbelievable. The next week it was like. Everything crumbled. <laughs> <laughs> they make you. You didn't see any more naked. That for well, starters. Not only that, it's like not only did I never see another naked woman after that, <laughs> but like, hey Josh, someone left period underwear. Oh, oh, oh yeah. And now I gotta go get the like. It got the real. Janitor stick. You know your janitor would pick up milk cartons in yeah. the high school quad. It's, little, it's like the little the little scissors. clutch. Yeah, 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 yeah. The little clutch thing. I'm throwing <laughs> dirty underwear away. Then they're like, yeah. So we also do whenever like cause seasonal, they change over the product. Yeah, we all got to be here from 10 p.m. till 7 a.m. Overnight shift. Overnight. So you Re- fell. Wire wow. fell from grace quick. Oh, and then first, then this pair of tits first week. First week, unbelievable. Second week, <laughs> worst Hell. job I ever had in my whole life. <laughs> then by the fourth week. Or sorry, the eighth week, a lot of these women are starting to get their cycles timed together. together. Oh no! Oh, wow. So now, 
that everyone's figured out who's who you figured out like okay she has a boyfriend she's like going she has some on the side thing like uh -oh. you feel you figured out like who was actually available and realized that not many of these women were even available yeah. and now i remember one time a girl comes into the like i'm in the back steaming and it's a small back room so like now you have women going in Figur there dropping deuces like it's now your job this is my coworker. figuratively and literally it's it's steaming. just, just You're like pissed. just she, steaming this chick came in <laughs> through you know those lockers like those little like portable. Yeah. she throws her purse i thought she was gonna rip the locker down she's like that motherfucker and the whole she looks at me she goes fuck men like women were mad at me she had an uh, argument with her boyfriend yeah. you were the only guy there and because i was the only guy with a punching bag i yeah. so i was getting my ass handed to me for a How year you worked there for a year because i met my girlfriend there she was awesome those were good titties that first week those were, that's how good those titties were that first week that's the thing it was like the whole year. day i'm like can i make it another month what happened to the, what happened to the rasta man he he bailed no no you know what he got promoted to a bigger victoria's secret oh shit so the bigger that could have like, been worse for him though well, I think he was like, like a Victoria's Secret guy. I think he wanted to move up in the company. Like a corporate guy. To be like a backroom corporate guy. Got it, got it, got it, got it. Has to count. You they were, were just there I was for there for the titties. The women. Like, <laughs> I was there for what happened the first week. If they would have said to me, that's never going to happen again, I would have walked out that day with my head, like, like Bender. <laughs> I'd have been like Breakfast Club walking out of the mall in the parking lot. Credits roll. Yeah, yeah. It's over. Josh Ricardo was never seen again. <laughs> <laughs> That's hilarious. <laughs> yeah, that shit was wild. Yeah, these, these, the, when I worked construction, there was these guys. Again, this is like 2008, 2009. There was these truck drivers. They would, uh, you know, like drop soil off and stuff oh, like right. that. Yeah, yeah. So I would have to give them tickets, right? You give people tickets and sign them in because you'd have to keep track of yeah, them because yeah. they'll take their goddamn time. Oh yeah, right. Yeah, yeah, they'll yeah, try yeah. to milk you too. Sure. Yeah, they miss they get a, paid by the hour. They, yeah, then by the dump. So you oh, miss a load, oh. they miss a load, and then they come back with McDonald's, and they're like, "You didn't see shit." I'm like, "Actually, Damn. I did. Yeah. I saw that. I don't. I'm not eating your fries. You fucked up. <laughs> what are you doing here?" <laughs> but there was these guys for a full. The, your Jamaican story reminded me of this. For a full summer, a Chinese guy, Jamaican. I did not know that this was a thing. Okay? I've heard of this actually. A, a Chinese Jamaican guy was was driving a truck, and his buddy behind him was an Indian, like a Sikh Jamaican man, uh -huh. and they were giving me weed to give to the other guy like he's like hey when my buddy comes and they had thick jamaican accents i'm not going to do the accent but they would give me weed and give it to the other guy and i who had, would be the handoff guy they would switch Which one they oh, would switch okay. they would switch one guy would get there early they work for the same company yeah and they had the thickest jamaican accents and for the whole summer i was like these guys are fucking hilarious <laughs> this is a character they're like just giving me weed and they're just playing like Bob Marley and I'm like these guys are the best because you gotta lean in when you're Chinese and you're sick you're like I gotta make sure they know I'm for real Jamaican I'm, I'm, I had no idea they were Jamaican I thought it was just a big I thought it was a bit <laughs> I thought it was a bit for the whole summer I had no you're idea doing this bit. the Indian guy was like you guys are the best and then finally I was like yo you guys kill me bro I don't know how you kept up with this the whole summer and they're like this is what we sound like I'm like oh shit I our culture a, yeah I'm just like I'm a kid from like an Italian Area. I went home. I'm like, Chinese people got Jamaican accents. That's fucking crazy. It what was part wild. of China is Jamaican. Yeah. 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 <laughs> I'm Josh Ricardo. You can follow me at joshricardo.com uh, or at Josh Ricardo and go to joshricardo.com for all tour dates. Eddie. Oh, uh, sorry. Go ahead. Yeah. Alex. Where's Alex at? It's oh, been I'm, a while. I'm Mr. Alex Pavone at P A V O N E on uh, Instagram. And I got to do TikTok. I got to start doing all this stuff, Ed. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah, yeah. <laughs> now that I know you're, you know, <laughs> you know yeah, yeah, yeah. Uh, yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, sure, sure. It slides away. <laughs> Uh, you can follow me at Ed McGowan Comedy on Instagram, uh, edmcgowan.com. See uh, all my show dates. Write us an email. Emails. Yeah, yeah, we want some emails. Uh, email us at workingclasscomedians at gmail. Tell us about your bad jobs. Tell us uh, about the show. Whatever you want to talk about, we'll read it on air. Uh, we will see you guys again next week. See ya. You can listen to us on all major podcast platforms every Wednesday. You can follow us on Instagram at workingclassholes. Also, make sure you watch the full show on YouTube. All you got to do is type in working class holes. And please don't forget to rate us five stars and tell a friend. Come on.